Lassie. Starring Tommy Reddick as Jeff Miller, Jan Clayton as his mother Ellen, George Cleveland as Gramps, and of course, Lassie. early for ten to two o'clock, is it? And Kayla called. They changed the time to 11. Oh, yeah. Homer's nephew came out from Capital City. They want to get back before dark. Oh, no, that'll be Emmett. Uh, sells his insurance. Pinchy knows. Now, the stew's ready. Bread's on the table. Butter's in the ice box. Well, you'll be back before noon. Well, I certainly hope so, but if we're not, you go ahead and eat. Did uh, Jeff suspect anything? Uh, almost wish he did. Might make him a little less disagreeable. Goodness, don't you look all sleek up? Yeah. <laughs> I heard some fish jumping in the lake this morning. Maybe after you get back, we can try a luck, huh? Why do I have to go if Gramps doesn't? There. <clears throat> See, he's choking me. Nonsense. <clears throat> Jeff, what do you have in your pocket? Jeff, what is that? My aunt. Oh, well, now this really is the end. You know that we're going to the carries, and you know there'll be other people there. Look, I'll hold them for you to get back. But don't tip them over. They get dizzy and start eating each other. Yeah, I know, I know. Keep them straight up. Yeah. Uh, Jeff, okay. come away. Come here. Now, drive careful now. We'll be back just as soon as we can. Set the following down as my last will and testament. Hi, Ellen. Hello, Caleb. I'm sorry we're late. Oh, not at all. We just got through the legal rigmarole. You know Mad Willis ran the farm for Homer? No. Yes, of course. I hear you're going to California. That's right. As soon as this is over. Ellen, this is Mr. and Mrs. Finch, cousins of Homer from Leesburg. And this is Mr. and Mrs. Emmett Carey. Homer's nephew. How do you do, Mrs. Carey? How do you do, Mrs. Miller? This is Mrs. Miller and her son, Jeffrey. Oh, and that there is young Edgar Carey. Hello, Edgar. You two boys can sit together. Now, well, you sit here. Oh, thank you, Caleb. Now, now let's we'll see, where were we? Oh, yes. Do we hereby set the following down as my last will and testament? Firstly, I appoint Caleb C. Brown, attorney at law, as my sole executor, and charge him to administer my estate and execute whatever bequests are made herein. To my hired man, Matt Willis, I leave the sum of fifty dollars, although he, he has probably stolen ten times that much. To my neighbor, Ellen Miller, I leave all the furnishings of my house. To young Jeff Miller, I leave the best thing I've got. My dog, Lassie. To me? She's all yours, son. Better 
proceed with the reading, uh, Mr. Brown? Sit down, Jeff. He can take her outside, Ellen. Go ahead, Jeffrey, take her out. Come on, Leslie. Come on. Been like that since the old man died. I'll take her out. Card, stupid. Here, Mickey Mantle, make her do a trick. Well, what you waiting for? Come on, Lassie, roll over, play dead. Come on, roll over, roll over and play dead, Lassie. What a dopey dog. She is not dopey, she's the smartest dog in the whole world. <laughs> you know what's dopey, these dopey cards. You pick those up. I will not. Pick them up. Pick them up yourself. The year of 1953. Signed, Omar Carey. Are there any questions? Your, uh, your kids are fighting. Excuse me. Understand me, sir. I uh, appreciate Uncle Homer's having having left me the farm. Although what I'm going to do with it, I don't know. Uh, but when I visited Uncle Homer in uh, April, uh, he told me that he had better than uh, two thousand dollars in cash. And now, of course, you know Uncle Homer couldn't possibly have spent that much in just a few months. We only found a hundred and ninety-seven dollars. Thank you. Yeah. It wasn't my fault, Donna. It doesn't matter whose fault it was. You made that boy's nose bleed and oh, just look at your suit. Slung a rope around her neck so you can tie her up. Oh, good, man. Here's his hat. <laughs> Thank you. Go out there in the, in the car. No, no, in the back seat. Goodness. Come on, Lassie. Have a good trip. Thanks.
girl. You can't make her stay, not if she doesn't want to. But I haven't even had a chance, Mom. Oh, please, Gramps, please. Good boy. There's one thing you got to understand. The Lord made animals free, just like human beings. And you can't force them to love you. They got to do the assignment. But I used to play with her lots of times when I went over to the Carries. We're playing is one thing. She was Homer's dog. He raised her from a pup. And by the way, uh, Joe King's father said it'll be welcome soon. Oh, I don't want no setter, Pop. Not ever. <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. All right, boy. We go and touch him. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Gramps. <laughs> She get in here, the front door was closed. Why'd you run away, Lassie? Prince! Mm -hmm. Huh? Growled at me! Well, easy girl now, easy. easy. What's the matter with her, Gramps? I don't know. She got away from you, huh? Hello, Matt. Hello, Mr. Martin. I sort of figured she might do that. You ought to tie her up in the barn. She'll get over it. The barn's cold at night. That won't hurt her none. At any rate, you got to get her out of here. I'm closing up and leaving. If she comes back, she'll starve. Come on, you. Stop! Don't hit Wait her. a minute. I'll take her. Come on, girl. Come on. We're not going to tie her up in the barn, are we, Gramps? We'll work it out, boy. We'll work it out, kiss. Come on, come on, come on, Messi. That's it. Come on, right along now.
Well, well, look who's waking up the daylight. Good morning, Mr. Pease. Where are you heading? Down the road. If you got any mail for us, I'll take it. Now, you know better than that. I'm just on my way to pick it up. Oh. What you got in your pocket there, guns? Oh, no, sir, they're... Well, they're... They're lamb chops. And this is water. You weren't figuring on running away, were you? Oh, no, sir, honest. I'm on my way over to the Cary place to feed the dog. Homer's lassie? I heard he give her to you. He did, but she ran away. Why in tarnation didn't you say so in the first place? Hop in, I'll drop you off there. Can I ride me back? <laughs> sure, but don't hold up the mail. Okay. Ten fifteen minutes. I'll toot the horn. All right. Thanks a lot, Mr. Peace. Bye.
thousand dollars even. Carl! Where'd he get it? I found it under a brick in the fireplace. Lassie was guarding it. You see, she didn't really run away from me. She was just going back to watch the money like old Mr. Curry told her to. Where'd you, Lassie girl? Need that rope around her neck? I don't know. I gotta tie him up and cart him back to town. You give this to your grandfather and tell him to hold it until they decide who it belongs to. Maybe it'll be finders keepers. Two thousand dollars. Can't get over that boy getting up at the crack of dawn this morning and sneaking out to feed that dog and bringing back two thousand dollars with him. I can't get over taking my lamb chops. Hmm. You better put that away until we hear from Caleb. Good idea, yes. Gramps! Mom! No. No. What do you want? I want to show you something. Get Mom! She wants to show us something. Can he show it to us in here? Yes, Mom. Oh, great. All right. Now what you got up your sleeve? Sit, sit, Lassie. Lay down. Lie down. Get on your side. Get on your Yes, boy. She's all yours now. She's done her disciples. 